Good morning guys! It's almost 9 in the morning and I'm starting my day with a walk and a grocery run. I actually think that it's gonna be a productive day for me today. So yeah, I'm ready for a grocery run, so let's go! It's really sunny today. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> hey guys, so we are back to the apartment and uh, I really enjoyed my, my walk today. Beautiful day, sunny day. Look, we're going to Souvenir. So, my cousin picked a flower. Look, super cute though. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I have my grocery here with me. Like, oh, I got. In my I always, always have a water bottle with me. I drink a lot of water every day to stay hydrated, especially in summer. So, but I it. But yeah, I have veggies here broccoli, tomato, ampalaya, um, beans, carrots, and more. So, puro mga gulay dito. I have ano to cook. Hindi sa akin to. Di ako minum ng cook. Charat! Bagong buhay na. <laughs> <laughs> we have milk. Have my oats. I'm a bit sad because I have the usual na yogurt that I bought. So uh, I just bought two just to try this one out. Because my favorite ko yung Pascal na Greek yogurt. They are not of it. Um, coffee. Classic, pure and natural coffee. Black coffee. I have tea. Request na yung multo. Ano? Milk. <laughs> so I call my cousin multo. <laughs> I'm going to go to the cream mushroom pasta. So, I'm going to go to mushroom. I'm going to go to the mushroom. So, this And then, thick cream for the sauce. And pasta. But the pasta is not going to be an option, guys. And then, I have one more bag here. Ah, it's not going to be an option. Dishwashing liquid, more veggies, and of course, I love banana. We also have meat. Oh, kailan mo nang iras yung meat? Oh, my pork! Hindi kasi kung makain ng chicken ang arte! Alam mo ba, ayos na ka sa sibig? Sibig! So guys, it's only 11.20 and um, I can't eat until like 12 noon because I'm doing intermittent fasting, guys. So, nagdi-dinner ako. Um, around 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. and then the next day uh like in no 7 like 11:30 to 1 mga ganun so i do intermittent fasting yung 16 8 what i'm going to do now is to work out sarap ng hangin fresh air and we have sun so yeah it's a beautiful day today it's a beautiful day to be productive <laughs> I'm just gonna take it easy today. I'm currently doing the challenge, the Pamela Rave. I said how I pronounce her name. Pamela Six Pack Abs Challenge for a week. Today is actually my day four. So I am doing the 10 minutes ab workout, two rounds every day. And that's it. I'm gonna call it a day because the other day, guys, I was trying to learn a headstand and I hurt myself kind of. I can still feel the tension on my right arm and. I have a bruise sa upper glutes. This is the workout, guys. Warm up, warm up, baby. <laughs> Lift the knees up high and punch and engage that core of yours. Ah, oh, my 
um, my cousin is requesting me to do a creamy mushroom pasta but before I make that, I want my first meal to be healthy so I'm gonna make myself a, a bowl of paradise so all we need is a what is this? <laughs> whole grain it's a granola, cranberry and seeds with oats very delish, I have been loving this also, one banana and my yogurt this is my favorite yogurt at the moment, Greek yogurt. This is one of the things that makes me excited after workout. So there you go, so easy to make. So this is like 350 to 400 calories. Super yummy. Kain guys, so I'm just gonna enjoy this while browsing. I just read, extended na naman yung lockdown until May. I don't know what to say. That is what it is. To stay safe and healthy guys and try your best to make the best out of the situation try to be productive as much as you can it doesn't need to be every single day but you know when you feel like it try to be productive during that day because it keeps you busy keeps your mind busy so this is usually my first meal of the day especially when i know like my lunch lunch would take a while to prepare or cook so i would usually go for something easy like this So I'm done cooking now, I'm gonna take a shower and then do some editing. So guys, it has been an hour and I have been editing and planning videos. I mean planning the sequence of my video because I'm gonna film more today sometimes it takes more than one day for me to film a video and a lot of hours of editing and yeah also script writing because sometimes i'd like to have a guide just so i know this sequence i know the rundown and not forget the things that i want to say in a video what i also added to my routine is spanish class or a spanish quiz so i have been taking spanish quiz and it's really fun i do it every day for like around 30 minutes it's free so if you want to try if you want to learn spanish or other language i'm gonna put the link on the description box so you can try it out as well so i'm gonna show you guys duolingo it looks like this intro phrases travel restaurant family shopping school people and more this is fun because it's like it's also like playing a game because you earn like crowns or you earn xp so it's more fun learning maria is mexican so this is uh, the easy part jose is de mexico jose is de mexico I live in Virginia. Uh, yo vivo in Virginia. There's also stories, guys. Earn XP through mini stories, the challenge you're reading and listening comprehension. Complete all the stories to unlock the next set. Surpresa. I love surprises. Sorpresa. Antonio está en un restaurante con su madre. Antonio está en un restaurante con su madre. So Antonio is in a restaurant with his mother. Una mesa para tres personas, por favor. Una mesa para tres personas, por favor. Yes. Hey guys, it's around four in the afternoon and I just made myself a coffee. I'm about to film another video, but before that, I'm gonna answer some of your questions, some of your Instagram questions. For most of the afternoon, I snack with my cold coffee. It's so easy to make, it's just a black coffee and a little bit of milk plus ice and that's it. Okay, first question from I am Sofia Sanchez. What will be the first thing that he'll do when the quarantine is over? Definitely human interaction. I would love to see my family and friends again. I'd visit my mom in the province or she can come here and visit me as well. I would just love to hang out with my family and friends again. Next question is kind of similar from Im Valentin or E-A-M Valentin. What's the first outdoor activity you wish to do once ECQ is lifted? I'd love to go back to a firing range and shoot. 
It was the last thing that I did before the lockdown and I absolutely love it. It's like the best thing ever. I felt like I was in a game like PS4 but real life if that makes sense. It was awesome experience. Next question is from love underscore fandida. How does it feel to see the streets of Manila without traffic? It feels strange, but it's so refreshing. Traffic is one of the things I don't like in a city, especially here in Metro Manila. It's just another level. So it's nice to see the streets empty. It's more clean, fresh air, quiet. I wish it could be like this every day on our normal life. Next question is from... Relo. I don't even know. What makes you love the most in the current situation? Friends, the series makes me love the most. In fact, I actually rewatched everything and I just finished it. 10 seasons. I'm a bit sad that I finished everything. Watching a comedy or anything funny is a great alternative if you want a good laugh when we can't be around people at the moment. So, yeah. Brooklyn Nine is also one of my favorite comedy series. So funny. Next question is from Kitka.Ilano. How to be productive, lol. There is no one answer to this question, but there are ways we can be productive. Like waking up early in the morning. Personally, I feel the most productive when I wake up earlier than usual. It gives me a head start on my day. I feel like I have a lot of time to finish or accomplish my, my task. Also, writing a to-do list. This helps me keep track on my goal of the day and it feels good to cross them out at the end of the day when you're when you're done. Also, limit your social media exposure. This is a hard one, especially during this time. It's such a major distraction, but try to turn off your Wi-Fi or data while doing a, a specific task or put your phone somewhere far from you. It helps you focus more on your thing. For example, personally when I'm editing, I try to put away my phone like like somewhere I can't see on my working space because when your phone is just right in front of you, it's so hard to not get distracted. So, yes. One of the simplest productivity habits is writing down ideas as they come to you because creativity has its own rhythm. It would just pop out of your head in the middle of in the middle of anything. Like when we're doing something, it can be a distraction too. Like when ideas come to mind, it's nice to write it down because it's a great way to empty your mind from clutter. Also, it allows you to revisit them later if you have more time. Also, it's very important to take care of your body. Eat smart, rest, drink a lot of water, and work out whenever you can because you can't be productive without a healthy mind and body. Next question is from Just Funny Day Air. What is your favorite drink? I love a healthy smoothie in the morning or for a snack. Also, cold coffee, black coffee with just a little bit of milk and water. Ciara underscore SL asks, what is your eating plan? Well, I am currently on intermittent fasting. I have been doing it for a month and so far it's working for me. I am actually gonna do a separate video on that. But yeah, I am doing the 16-8 method. 16 hours of fasting and 8 hours of eating period. So I'll have my dinner around 7 to 8 p.m. and I'll stop eating until 11.30 to 1 p.m. on the next day. Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It's more of a pattern of eating, a change in habit of eating. About the food I eat, I just kind of wing it every day. I don't have like a specific meal plan for the week. I work with whatever I have on my pantry. But I would say I have been eating a lot healthier than what I used to. I used to eat really bad, like I eat whatever I want whenever I want. And I used to snack a lot and hate veggies. Like I remember my mom and my family, they would force me to eat more veggies. Ugh. But now I have a healthy relationship with food and I feel so much better with my body. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, it depends on what I'm doing that day. But on an unworking day, I can get ready as fast as 5 minutes. Next question is from Frank underscore Primachandra. Primachandra. Until now, I still don't know how to pronounce your last name. How do you keep yourself motivated? I mean, having a routine is one of the things that keeps me motivated. I feel stressed when I constantly have to think about everything in the moment. When I have a schedule, it's easier for me to accomplish my goal for the day. Because when you do it every day, it becomes a ritual and you become more consistent compared to when you just want to wing it every day. It's easier to just make excuses. Setting up a goal also keeps me motivated. When I have a goal, I visualize the results 
and I have a clear picture of what I want to achieve, what I want to accomplish without beating myself up. If you can't finish a goal within, within the time frame you want, it's okay. Tomorrow is another day. Also, it's important to surround yourself with positive energy, with positive people. If you can't be with the people who motivate you and give you positive energy at the moment, seek out positive information. Like for me, for example, there are days that I don't feel motivated. There are days that I'm not feeling myself. There are days that I don't want to work out. But seeking out positive information keeps me motivated. What I mean by that is that, for example, watching fitness transformation really, really motivates me a lot because they get inspired by these people basically if you are into something that you are passionate about but sometimes you are lacking of motivation to do it and watch other people with the same passion to motivate you i think this is the last question i'm gonna answer it's from paul ryan what are what are some of your quarantine realizations in life avid fan here thank you paul i have a lot of self-realization enough to make a whole video but one is the importance of saving money for the future and for emergencies like this because we will never know when something is gonna hit us hard AF like this second health is well that's never been more true until now we should start caring more of our health as ready as now and not just physically but also mentally and spiritually it's gonna be good for you for the long run like your future self would be so proud of you for doing this now three is we are more powerful than we think sometimes we underestimate our power. Like what Young Pablo says, one of the most important qualities to develop in life is having a strong determination. At some point, you just have to put your foot down and say, I am going to move in this new direction and no person or situation is going to stop me. Great transformations always have a beginning. And that is so true. One of the things that I really appreciate about quarantine is that it's giving us opportunity to focus more on ourselves and become a better version of ourselves. Quarantine also taught me to not focus on the things that I can control and do the things that I can control. We can control the virus, but we can choose how to react to it. That's why this is the perfect time to focus more on your mental health. Also, be more kind to people. It won't kill you. Be extra kind because everyone is going through something. And don't take the people you love, the people you care about for granted. Appreciate their presence. No man is an island, so be more appreciative. Be more grateful about the little things. I'm gonna end the Q&A here. If you like this kind of video, if you have more questions, if you want to know more, let me know in the comments. Guys, I'm in the middle of filming. I uh, took a break because it's too like too warm with the ring light and stuff. So and I'm wearing a uh, warm clothes. So I would say this has been a very productive day for me. So I'm gonna wrap this up and eat dinner. Hey guys, it's 9 p.m. and I finished filming. I'm now transferring the files on my laptop. I also had dinner, um, I had salad, and I had a video chat with my mom and my grandparents today, so that was amazing. And now I'm gonna remove this and relax. I'm, I'm gonna watch my High Sonata I'm season 4 and I'm super excited. It's a stressful series, but it's really good. I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video, if you like vlogs, quarantine vlogs. And remember that we will all get through this and we are going to come out of this quarantine stronger. Stay safe and healthy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!